Hey guys! Today I'm going to give you an up close look at an awesome gun purse that was handmade in the USA by an incredibly talented seamstress named Julie, who is the owner of Concealed Chic. She has an online shop on Etsy.com where she sells her concealed carry purses, so I'll put a link below so you can check out her store, and I'll also put a link below to a blog post that I did on this exact purse when I first got it. And that has some photos and additional insight from Julie regarding the design. So if you do end up liking this purse, please check that out as well. Now for daily concealed carry, I usually carry my gun in an inside the waistband holster, like this one from PJ Holster. And I generally encourage on body carry for a variety of reasons, but I do pretty much always carry a purse when I leave the house, and it's nice to have options. So it just makes sense to me to have a purse that also doubles as a gun purse by having a dedicated holster pocket and also an internal holster for your gun. Obviously a purse can be set down or stolen which is one of the main reasons why I promote on body carry and I don't carry my own gun in a purse too often but sometimes it is super convenient especially if you're wearing a dress or a skirt. For dresses and skirts there are on body options such as concealment shorts, thigh holsters, or bra holsters but all of these types in particular do work best with lighter weight guns and they don't work for every single gun or body type out there so as much as I try to stay away from purse carry it does work if nothing else will and it's a super easy way to carry nearly any full-size pistol with you um, that's especially great if you're a petite framed woman because you're not limited to carrying a tiny 380 if you actually want to carry a larger caliber and still wear your summer clothes on a 90 degree day um, I hardly ever wear dresses, so if I do purse carry, it's usually just midsummer and too hot for a cover garment. I rarely thigh carry, but I do have a few thigh holsters I'll be reviewing, including this one from Can Can Concealment. Bra carry has been a struggle for me so far, but I will put a link below to a write up with my current thoughts on the flashbang. And I'll also put a link below to my video review on these conceal carry shorts. This is currently the only purse design that Julie makes, although she does make it in all sorts of unique fabric patterns and colors. I picked one of her more mid-range patterns that's not too bright, but it's still fun and feminine. This one's actually a screen print, which is a little more delicate than some of her other purses, but I really like the design, and black and white goes with pretty much everything that I wear. Um, it is larger and more noticeable than I'm used to, but I do love the change since I don't tend to switch things up very often. And honestly, I've been feeling pretty spoiled getting to carry so much with me in this purse because for the past two and a half years or so, my go-to purse has been this Raven bag from Gun Toten Mamas, which I did a video on back in 2010. They don't offer it in this fabric color or material anymore, which is too bad because I absolutely love it and it is holding up really well. But anyway, this purse is a completely different style. This is a crossbody style with a zipper closure, whereas this one is not. This one tucks up under your arm and has an open top design. Although I do know that Julie is working on a crossbody style as a second purse design for the future. For sizing comparison, as you can see here, the Raven bag is quite a bit smaller. This purse does have some pleats on it, so that helps it expand a little bit more when it's really full, which is great if you want to carry a lot, or if you often end up carrying stuff for your husband or kids. It's not too big, but I can easily carry a crazy amount of stuff in here that won't fit in my other purse, like food, sunglasses mail, and also reading material, stuff like that. Uh, to show you what this bag looks like completely full, my Raven bag, packed to a maximum capacity, actually fits inside this purse with room to spare. That's about how much room it takes up. So you could also fit in movies if you had any to return. Can jam those down in along with a water bottle and probably even a few other things. Actually, I think a second water bottle would fit. So even when it's packed really full, there is still room for your gun 
inside the holster pocket. And when it is packed this full, you can't quite do the button, but I can't imagine you would carry this much with you in this purse. If you did take out your movies, because you are returning them to the movie store, then it does close. And then it looks like this. Since purses are not generally made to be washed, it's really nice that Julie does also scotch guard them to help protect them from stains. And she also includes some excellent instructions for taking care of your purse to help it stay clean and last for as long as possible. Uh, she does tend to use durable canvas and upholstery fabrics, and this particular purse is a sturdy canvas material, so it's not flimsy at all, even though the purse itself is very lightweight. It's actually so lightweight that it doesn't feel too heavy when you have it packed full with everything you could possibly need like this, including your heavy firearm. Um, I just love that it's fabric. I'm not a fan of leather purses, which most concealed carry purses are, especially since leather purses often feel quite heavy to begin with before you load them with your gun and all of your stuff. Uh, the straps on this are also not too thin, which is great, so it's very comfortable to carry for a long period of time, and it doesn't cut into your shoulder. And since the type of fabric is so sturdy, the bag does not sag or collapse at all, so for a shoulder-style purse, I honestly think it feels perfect to carry. It does have a big button for closure, and again, an open top. Here is her tag. And the lining on the inside matches the outer fabric, which is really pretty. There is lining on the top of the center zippered compartment and also on the slip pockets on the side. And the press does come with two different size matching holsters as well. And I'll show you how those fit a few different guns in a little bit. I love the pocket layout on the inside. It works really well. And... There is a little matching key ring attached to the side to clip your keys onto, which is really convenient. I did add this key ring though, just so that my particular carabiner clips on a little bit easier. There are three slip pockets on one side. Two of them are bigger, about the width of my hand or an iPhone. So I do keep my phone in one of those. The third slip pocket is a bit narrower, so it holds about one big pen or a couple smaller pens. It does hold a narrow flashlight as well, which is really nice, although it does not seem to be a good size for a spare magazine. Um, if you do want the exact dimensions of any of the pockets in here, I will list them below the video, but she does also list them for every purse that's for sale on her site. The only change I would make to this purse would be to make one of these slip pockets just a little bit wider to accommodate either a standard clutch or a standard checkbook cover. Just because I would love it if I could at least keep my clutch upright and easily accessible since I use it so much. I don't know if you can see, but it's just, it's just not wide enough for me to slip that in, so I do have to set that down in the purse. But since that doesn't fit... I do keep my flashlight and a spare magazine in one of those slip pouches. And I put my pen in the third one. There is a center zippered pouch here, which is very spacious. You can put a lot of stuff in that. And that connects to the bottom of the bag and divides the purse into two sections for whatever you want to carry. So that is really nice if you want to keep things separate and then you have basically three big areas. This side, a center zippered compartment, and this side. Then on the other side, opposite the slip pockets, there is a second zippered compartment for whatever you'd like to carry. That one is great for small items. And then on the back side, there is a concealed carry holster pocket which I'll try to get enough lighting to show you here. It's very well thought out, and it gives you a slightly angled horizontal style draw. It is ambidextrous with a zipper on each side, so that's really great, and it doesn't matter 
which shoulder you like to carry on or whether you're left or right handed. You can draw from this pocket either way. And the zipper pull is a pretty good size, but I did attach this little paracord lanyard just so I can grab it quicker and access it a little bit easier, especially in the dark. On the inside, there is Velcro on both sides of the inner lining. I don't know if you can see that, but it is there. And that holds the holster very secure and it doesn't sag at all when you have the gun in there. And it's also the soft side of the Velcro that's not abrasive. So if you're not carrying a gun in there or if you travel a lot and take a lot of flights where you obviously can't have your gun, you can carry other things in there like a book, DVDs, your Kindle or other electronics, anything like that. These are the two different size holsters that it came with, a compact and a full size. They are lined on the inside with vinyl, which is great, so you can wipe them out pretty easy to keep gun oil from soaking into the fabric. And this webbing also goes down in nice and far so that your sights or your hammer are not going to catch when you draw. Um, this smaller one works great for most of my guns, including the Ruger LCR, the Ruger SP-101, the Walther PPS, the m and Shield, and the m and Compact. And the larger holster is great for full-size handguns, two of which I can show you are the Walther PPQ and the Glock 20. Here I'll show you how the smaller holster fits some of the guns that I mentioned, starting with the Ruger LCR. This is the SP-101. The m and Shield, Walther PPS, and m and Compact. For the larger holster, the Walther PPQ fits perfectly, as does the Glock 20. These two holsters will fit most guns that a woman would choose to carry, but of course there will be exceptions. This smaller holster is too big for tiny guns, like the Ruger LCP 380. Goes in really far, but that doesn't matter to me since this gun is so easy to conceal on my body and I would never carry it in a purse anyway. The larger holster is too small for the Ruger Super Red Hawk Alaskan, which most women probably wouldn't be carrying. But as you can see, the trigger guard does not fit. This is the holster that came inside my gun tote and mama's purse. And in case you have one of these, I'll just show you quickly here that it is a little bit smaller than the compact one that comes with this purse. The little Ruger LCP does fit into this one, but as you can see, you cannot get a great grip on it. And the Ruger LCR trigger guard does stick out a little bit of this one. Either way, if you do have one of these, it does have the same rough side of the Velcro on each side as these holsters do, so you could use it with this purse even though you really shouldn't need to. To install the holster you want to use, I did get a few tips from Julie just because it can be a little bit tricky if you don't block the Velcro before putting in the holster. So you lay your purse flat and you open both angled zippers. Then you put one hand inside to cover the Velcro on the outer side of the pocket. And with the holster in this hand, you cover the Velcro on the back of the holster. Then you position it inside and remove your hand. I put it at a slight angle since that feels like a natural grip. Then you just remove your other hand and press the outer Velcro down to secure the holster. When the holster is positioned properly, the draw from the pocket is great. It feels very smooth and snag free. And the top part of the zipper here is actually stitched to the purse, which is great. So the gun is not going to get hung up on it right there when you draw. Be sure to practice drawing quite a bit with the gun that you're planning to carry, especially since you're probably going to have to make adjustments. You do need to make sure that you've got the holster high enough in the pocket so it doesn't catch anywhere when you draw, and also at a comfortable draw angle.
I love the positioning of the pocket on the back side of the purse because that allows you to easily hold the purse against you while your hand is actually on your concealed handgun. And that's great, especially if you're walking back to your car at night in a parking lot, you have very easy access to your gun. The cost of this purse is $165, which is not cheap, but as with most things, you do get what you pay for. This is a specialty item with each purse being completely unique and the price reflects the time put into making it by hand, the materials, and also the quality. The quality is very impressive and the stitching is completely flawless. So if you do fall in love with one of the fabric options for sale on her site and you've been looking for a well thought out gun purse that is big but not too big, then this might be the perfect purse for you. I absolutely love it. Um, she does have a seven day return policy that's described on her Etsy shop. And if you haven't shopped there before, it's really easy. You just set up a free account by making a username and password. And so for the current fabric she's offering for this purse, again, the link to Concealed Chic is in the video's description box below, as well as the link to her Facebook page. And just as a reminder, especially if you're new to conceal carry, a purse is an off-body carry method that can be very easily removed from your person or stolen. So if you are legal to carry a loaded firearm concealed and you choose to do so using a purse, you do need to remain in complete control of your purse at all times so that no one else can access your firearm. So thank you so much, Julie, for making this amazing purse. And thanks, everyone, for watching. And I'll see you later. Bye.